Tom Pagan, what's up, my friend? Hello. It's good to see you every night. And Kenneth Martinez, just want to say hello. All right, guys. I've had this since Cyber Monday. About time that we take a look at it, guys. Because I've been promising yet, um, only for about a month. So, if you saw yesterday's video, guys, I wanted to tell you, wanted to show you, these pack-out boxes are still at a crazy price over at Acme Tools. It's going to end real soon, guys. Um, again, no tax, no shipping, except on the, the rolling box, because that's a huge box. But... The whole point of that video was you don't really need that box. That was the whole point of it. I mean, once you go that big, you know what I'm saying? Now, obviously, you're going to spend a lot more money. But it's not really a compact um, system. Now, it's good to have. And obviously, you could take these off and if you only need these two. But if you're looking to start out and you have really no use, again, you don't really use circular saws. You don't really use recip saws. You know, there's no need for that big rolling box. So you get a lot of value for your money. You know, this box is $40 right now. All right. And this is 30. All right. So you could tell where the value is. Now, obviously they have different, you know, uses, different app. They're made for different applications, but you're looking at around $65 right here. That's it. And you're going to have everything I'm going to show you. Let me just get this out of the way here. I got to put this, stand it up here. All right. So this is your small pack out box. All right. Um, really well made. Probably the best made box out there are these pack outs. All right. And again, 40 bucks right now. It's an absolute steal. Now, I really like that mid box too. But again, if you don't need circular saw um, or recips, you're not really using them. You don't need it. You can spend around sixty five bucks and be in the pack out and be rocking with the best system out there right now. Um, so, whatever your plumber, carpenter, contractor, or you know a handyman, whatever the hell you are, electrician, but I want to show you what you can get in this small pack out here. Now, I'm going to show you the different sizes here of what comes with it and what I kind of do. You know, they overpack all these, the tough system, and the rigid to some extent with these little containers here. I just use these two, all right? Uh, as you can see, you got your hammer drill, you got your impact. You got your impact wrench for when times get crazy, when your impact, you know, can't handle it. You got a light. And again, guys, you can do this whatever you want. The people that are in the rigid platform, that's my honest opinion because the the cases that they give you, I don't know, the soft case, I, I'm not a big fan of them. So I kind of just take the tool out of there and then I, I toss that soft case. So these boxes, and again, you can use the rigid boxes too. Um, but you know, these are really $10 more. Actually, I don't even think so. No, no. I believe uh, Rigid's box is $29. This is $40. So it's $10 more for this box. And again, $10 to have, you know, a little bit better made box. But again, the huge difference is the locking system or the attachment, uh, parts of this pack out, um, the way that they stack up, lock up. Um, but obviously you got your nice seal to keep this, keep the water out of this box. 
But like I said, you got your light, and you could do this any way you want. All right, light. Uh, you got your your battery. You know, you could put a nine here. You know, you don't really don't need a nine amp hour battery for this stuff here. Uh, but you got your impact. Um, you know, I like this. This is my favorite box. Now I'm gonna take these all out just to show you what what other stuff you can get in here. But this is my favorite container that comes with it. Again, you got a lot of lot of room in here. Um, and then you got this container now. Like I said, if you rock with Milwaukee's 12 volt platform, I was gonna do that, but I just didn't want to take the time uh, to get everything out. But these boxes are awesome for you know the Bosch, I guess too. <coughs> Even the Makita, because Makita, they really don't have a good, you know, you know portable you know box system you know they, they kind of have one we might go over it because you can get them for a real good price right now but um you know if you're rocking makita's 12 volt line these boxes are awesome this box in particular because you can get so much stuff in here but i wanted to go with the 18 volt stuff because a lot of guys still rock with the 18 volt stuff and again just to show you how much stuff you can fit in here in this box so no need for that middle that mid box, that medium box, no need really for that, you know, rolling box. And again, if you get a good deal on it somewhere down the road, but again, this is for the people that don't really have any need for it. And to get into it for 60 bucks, I think it's good. So you got everything in here. Again, you can put whatever you want in here. This is, I just, this video literally started two minutes ago. Um, you could load these batteries in this, like at nauseum. So you got plenty of room with just two containers here, all right? Um, I'm going to take all this stuff out to, to show you. Um, and again, you know, you can save so much room not having the Ryobi light in here. I just wanted to show you that you can get a big light like this in this box with three tools. Um, yeah, it is. It's, it's all that. You know, 80% of you guys, you know, need uh, out there. And again, really light, really portable. Got the handle, you're ready to rock. And then I'm going to show you the great part of it with the new low pile. All right, so when you get it, and these things come out, like I told you. Maybe I didn't tell you, but. So when you get your small pack out box. They go nuts with all these containers in here. Now, you might need them. You might want them. Uh, they make a lot of sense if you're just going to go with this box, which, again, really, for $40, and you kind of got the containers for, you know, your bits, you know, blades, screwdrivers, wrenches. Um, you know, again, if you're rocking with the 12-volt guys, I mean, you can just load this middle compartment up and... You know, obviously this is much bigger. Um, if I had some 12... Yeah, well, let me just grab something here real quick. I'm going to take him out of my bag. My bag. All right. All right, so these are what I keep in my tote. You guys know that. I showed you. We went and we fixed the guy's door. With that small little tote, all you need, you don't need to bring a whole bunch of stuff. And you can kind of mess around with what works best to maximize space. But, I mean, obviously, I haven't even, you know, kind of put this in here to kind of, let's see if we can kind of get that in that little wiener package. I mean, it's just like so close. I can almost get in there. And you know, this is the Gen 2. I could probably get the Gen 1 right in between here. But it screwed me. It screwed me bad. And I still got room here, guys. Um, you know, obviously, you want to keep your stud in here. And then again, now you got all these other compartments. So you can rock with a hammer drill, your impact, and your, um, your stubby. All in this middle part 
of this small pack out box and again i was going to show this and talk about it more at the 12 volt but you know still i want to say by a pretty large margin most people are still rocking with 18 volt stuff so i kind of just wanted to show you without some of these bins in how much room you got but you know yeah and now you can rock totally whatever you want to do i'm not gonna i'm just picking stuff up that to show you how much stuff you can get in here obviously if you got wrenches and ratchets all in here you got storage underneath here um you kind of sort of in here but then you can load you know batteries your 12 volt batteries in here um you got your power source here in case things go bad you can always have um you know exactly and again you could put your bits in here too um i absolutely and you could probably yeah, even get it right in this little I'll tell you, I'm like one step away. Yeah, there we go. All right. Come on, we can go. Boom. Smack dabble do. So you got your bits here, whatever you, you're going to rock with. Again, all Milwaukee in the center comp part only. Still with the containers in. All right. You know, you want to get your light um, instead of that big one. You got your Milwaukee light right here, ready to rock. And it should close. If not, you kind of, kind of got to just maneuver them around a little bit. With a little wiener package. But, yeah, you're good to go. So, in a small $40 lightweight box, again, all the 12-volt tools you need right in this center console. Again, might not need the impact wrench. Might not need the, the hammer drill. Whatever you want to rock with. You know, and that's what I want to show you too, real quick. And then we'll talk about the low profile. But again, you got all your kind of stuff in here, right? You got all your power tools that you rock with. Then you come now without adding really any weight, any size. Now, obviously, you're going to put stuff in here, so you're going to add weight in. But boom, just like that with a bat. All right, let's get this off. All right, so now, boom. Whatever you're, you know, you're rocking with. Finished carpenter, um, plumber, electrician. You, your electrician, you keep all your, your stuff in here. I'm not going to go crazy because I got all my other stuff. Um, and this is my first time looking at this. I just threw in some paint. I was going to put lag bolts in here, actually. But just to show you how much room you got and... Um, I got a whole bunch of miscellaneous. I'm sure you guys all have it at home too, just from other projects. And I steal a lot of screws and bolts and fasteners from stuff I do. Like other people like to build sheds and to, to fix doors and crown molding and stuff. Um, they always buy extra stuff and, and all that. So I kind of keep it. But, you know, you got plenty of room. Whammo. Again, your electrician, this is perfect. Um, and it comes with a whole bunch of these little dividers, all right? So you get two packs of these dividers to put, you know, inside here. Again, for the electricians, you need a lot of different, you know, containers to kind of separate stuff. Um, you know, so, I mean, man, these are, these, I like these, these little ones, the low profile. And again, guys, remember, you can hang these on the wall. All you got to do is just uh, get a nail or a screw, and these things will hang right on your, your wall just like that, um, you know, to kind of keep them instead of reaching back down. Say you're doing, you know, some, some framing or, you know, paneling or something like that, crown molding. Um, exactly, yep. You can kind of just put a nail in the wall, boom, and you just keep reaching. You got all your fasteners on the wall ready to rock but um yeah so again you can do what you want with this that's what i like about it you might want to have a couple big ones but over here you might want to put some of these dividers in here let me grab some of these out here how's everybody yeah how you doing buddy merry christmas
Yeah, we're still waiting on ebony and ivory. We're living in perfect harmony. So we're going to give her until probably tonight or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, so, yeah, they just go in like so. Whammo. And bammo. I like them. They have a nice little ridge on them here. Nice little, yeah. And, again, you know, um, let me show you. I forget what this was from in here. But. Now, you can kind of get rid of all these containers. These are from the tough system, actually. But, yeah, you want to rock, man. You got some in there of those. And then in this one, um, you know, you could put some, some screws, some fasteners. Hold on, let me open this bag up a little more. So, you know, great for the finished carpenters and the carpenters. You know, you got your one and a half inch fasteners. You got your two, two and a half, three inch, four. You can break them all up. Um, and they're pretty big, you know, again, if you don't need the divider, you can fill them, you know, put all your twos in here, your, your two inch, your two and a half right here, um, your three here, your four here. They give you two longer ones. Um, I wanted to show you just with a, the size of a pen or, or a pen. You got plenty of room in there to rock with that. But yeah, so you got these dividers, which are awesome, but if you don't need them, you don't have to use them, of course. But, um, I might as well get rid of all this stuff. So there and there. Now you can rock with that. I could probably fit all of them in there. Let's all put them all in there. All right, so good. So now I can kind of toss them and you can get rid of them a little bit. But again, guys, you could put so much different stuff in here. Um, obviously, you could fit screwdrivers. I'm just trying to show you the size-wise. Um... Can't go too big, but you can go pretty big. You can definitely get one of the multi-tools in here, um, no doubt. Um, the Milwaukee, not multi-tool, the multi-screwdriver. Um, they're definitely compact enough. But you got plenty of, and again, guys, you can take these all out too. All right? So if you got something where, you know, I don't know, you want to keep, and you can use this both. Like, you know, for me, I do a lot of billing with the lawn care business and stuff and, and, and stuff like that. Um, and I'm sure all you guys do billing too, but you write bills up, um, whether you make decks, hardscape to them. This is just for, for the lawn care people. You kind of keep your bills in here and you can throw your stuff right back on, you know, uh, great for the trailers, uh, the guys that have the trucks and the, uh, the trailers, the vans again, Super low profile. And again, you got that nice sealant there. But guys, look how small and compact. And again, 65 bucks. 40 for and I'll be honest with you, $30 for this, it seems a little high. Um, especially when you can get one of these for 40. But again, you can't really do what you can with this box, with this box. Uh, it is ten dollars cheaper, but you know. And then, super light guys. You got to remember, you got everything in here. You know, you got your impact driver, your stubby impact wrench. You got your hammer drill. You got all your miscellaneous bits. You know, tape measure sockets. You know, ratchets, screwdrivers. And then, what's great about this? You got all your fasteners. Um, and again, what's great about it. You need another one. You stack another one. And we're going to talk about that because I got the other half of the pack out low profile. The new low profile uh, boxes also. Maybe we'll do it later tonight or tomorrow. And again, Patreons tonight, we're going to do that. Uh, we're still waiting for Ebony C, of course. Um, but we're going to give her probably till tonight or tomorrow. And we're going to be doing the smorgasbord all over again. Yeah, the 12 volt rigid, Mr. Panda. Um... You know, it's not bad. There's just no reason to get it. It's uh, There's two tools. Um, nothing great about them. They're not really cheap. Uh, I mean, for another $40, you know, you can get into a brushless Milwaukee. Um, yeah, so 
you know, it really makes no, you know, it's kind of like recommending the DeWalt. Now, DeWalt has a much bigger 12 volt platform, even though they haven't made a tool in probably six years. And I still have no idea why they stopped because to this day, people still buy those DeWalt 12 volt tools for some reason. And again, because it's DeWalt. Um, so, but yeah, you know, you saw it with 18 volt, you saw it with 12 volt and real quick. And again, uh, for the paint, I mean, I, I want to put paintbrush just to give you so many different ideas. Recip saw blades you can fit into this area. You know, you're working with big lag bolts, long lag bolts. You can fit it in this area. You just got, I really was excited when I saw these low profile cases. They were kind of one of the most popular things at the symposium. Again, this pack out system is just super popular. It's it's you know people have waited for it for a while you know we had the tough system out makita had their stuff bosch had the l box i even yeah the rigid stuff was even out before the milwaukee so they're just killing it with this pack out system uh you know people are asking when they're going to come out with a draw uh box you know like the dewalt where you got draws you know it's going to come out guys it's just a matter of time um they're working on it um but yeah, and you know, like I said, yeah, uh, and again, made really good. Uh, it's made in Israel, distributed for Home Depot USA, 48228431. It's $29 right now. Um, you know, like I said, is it a little bit high? Eh, you know, especially when you kind of got that rigid one, that's the same price. But again, you gotta remember, guys, this has a specific application. It's to keep it really compact, low profile, not to add a lot of bulk, add a lot of weight um, to your pack out system. Um, you know, they also have a, a box that's a little bit bigger where you can do the same thing. They're, um, you know, they're. Hey, what's up? uh yeah i would go with the bosch 12 volt over the brush i go with the brushed bosch over the brushed milwaukee i just like them better they're much more compact uh really the same power milwaukee obviously you have a little bit more power but yeah absolutely now brushless that's a whole new ball game now bosch do make brushless 12 volt tools and they have a lot of them the impact again very compact and you're definitely going to have a little bit more power over the brushed version but it's still kind of underpowered um they also have an, a, a 12 volt brushless impact wrench bosch also but again not really good at marketing the stuff a lot of people don't know it exists um you know i was going to show you but i kind of got to get I, of course you try to do a video that you know quick i'm like i want to keep this video under 20 minutes and i'm already at 23 minutes but you know you got stuff in here guys and again you can even use this center again this is just literally 30 seconds of throwing stuff in here you can stack stuff on top of this you can maximize every inch of of this box again for 40 dollars, i think it's a uh, yep i decided to do it and just show you because i have had so many questions about that pack out video yesterday um but the amount of stuff, you don't need that big rolling box. Now, it's not bad to have. If you're going to commit to the pack out system, and again, you're using a lot of tools. Again, contractors where, you, you know, you're going to the job site, you got to have circular saws and recips and all different kind of SDS drills and, you know. But, yep, if you're just, you know, residential plumber, residential electrician, where you just need kind of like the basics and stuff. Um, I mean, this, the electricians, I think, are going to absolutely love this low profile. Again, to have all their different accessories where you can kind of fit them in this small. And, yeah, you can just rock with this, man. Um, and that's what's good about it. You know, you got the tote. You can attach the tote to this. Uh, it's going to be a little awkward, but you can do it. Um but yeah, absolutely. But you can also put nailers in here. And you can fit a recip in here, guys. You know, 
it is 22 inches, right? So you can fit recips in here. You know, you hear me talk about it. The only reason is you put a recip in here, you're going to max it, take up a lot of space in here. But um, absolutely. Yeah, I just want to show you real quick. Um, again, the, the guys that do finished carpentry and stuff with this box, I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to even leave the containers in here, too. And I can show you how much room you got. Like nothing. Look how much. And again, you can still fit, you know, uh, a drill in here. Whammo. You could still fit your stubby. And, you know. Oh, absolutely. Yep. And again, you don't, yeah, you can absolutely, you know, you don't want to be putting heavy stuff on here, but use it, stack it. It's going to stay nice. Now, obviously, there's another box out with the foam. I don't recommend that box, guys. You can easily get foam for this and cut out everything where it goes perfect. Nice, flat foam. You know, you can cut it down uh, pretty low. And then you got on top of the foam... You can kind of put some of your bits and stuff. We are. We're going to get some. I, I have the Bosch foam for the L-Box. I got to open it. And I want to see if it'll work with this pack-out stuff. Because um, they're they're pretty much the same size. You know, I don't mind if it's not all the way up to the edge. But if it, there's huge gaps, um, it's something I don't recommend. But then again, guys, no need to get the Bosch stuff. I, it was on a super sale at amazon like a year ago but go to acme tools they got the foam all right so again this is the small box guys for forty dollars um a lot of room in here you add you know you add the low profile to this box and again for the majority of you guys that want to have a nice small compact most importantly lightweight uh, storage uh, system. I think this is the best setup, and it's sixty freaking dollars. It might be a little bit. Wait, six uh, forty and twenty nine, thirty dollars, seventy dollars for seventy bucks. Yep, you're ready to rock. And if you want to add that medium box, you know, you add the medium box now. I mean, you could still carry it, but exactly. And if, with the medium box, then you can kind of get rid of this box and still use the low profile. But I think this is the best setup. You know, if you want another box, I'd get the other box that's like this. Your, um, yep. There's, it's, it's, it's the same size as this. Um, it's not low profile, but it's, it's the bigger organizer. Um, this is a low profile and then there's a, an ordinary organizer um about this size and you can then you'll have three boxes and you can still carry it and still have plenty of room um that medium box you know if you commit to that that's really the only box that you're going to kind of be able to use and still you know be portable with it you know what i'm saying if you want to start adding stuff to that medium box then you really got to get that um, the large rolling box because uh, you don't want to be carrying that and you know the thing with that medium box too you're going to have heavy stuff in that box that's why you're getting that box so that's what's good about this you can have all your hand power tools again you can even get a recip in here with all that stuff um, you know you can have an 18 volt um, recip in here with your 12 volt impact hammer drill an impact wrench and still have room in this box um, and again you could take all the containers out if you want also you know and you can get two of these you can get two of these for 80 bucks and really still be at that nice portable um, you know where you can hand carry it um, without really any issues too yeah you know Jerry makes a good point listen this is for the guys that want to pack out. They like the, the, the Milwaukee stuff. They like the interlocking system. They like the design. They like um, the construction of them. Again, you got these nice aluminum points to it for um, 
stronger construction, durability, and all that stuff. But guys, there's great deals on the on the rigid. There's great stuff on the DeWalt. You know that DeWalt ninety nine freaking dollars. But that's where I think this separates itself. Now DeWalt has a lot of cases too. So, and I'll be honest with you, the DeWalt stuff really isn't that much cheaper than the Milwaukee. I mean, they're pretty much about the same price. I don't know if they have any low profile stuff. And tough the tough system is definitely a bigger platform. Uh it's been out, you know, three, four years longer than Milwaukee's um, you know, storage system is here. But um absolutely. Yep. It it really comes down to what you like, what you want. Um I, I just think, like I said, what separates this from everyone is I just the locking system, the interlocking system uh, to, to to connect these are, are the best. It's the only one that one handed on and off super quick, you know, with the rigid. It's just, you know, the way that five, ten years ago you were connecting these. This has a whole different kind of system to it, which I think separates it. But if it don't mean beans to you. Get the rigid. You could save a lot of dough. You know? Get the DeWalt when it's 99 bucks. So, all right. So, again, Milwaukee. Boom. Off. Low profile o organizer. All right. There's two. There's another uh, low profile uh, box. We're going to take a look at that either tonight or tomorrow. Um, and you can easily add that to this whole setup too, you know, boom and boom, and I'll show you, um, but 29 bucks right now, some stores still have them. I don't know if they're going to be discounted, but guys, this is always going to be $29. I believe, uh, some people ask, they're like, Oh, I want to get it before it sells out and it goes to full price. I think this might always be 29 bucks. Um, I don't see it. I mean, yeah. And again, guys, you know, when Acme Tools, when, you know, CPO, that's the time to get this stuff. When, you know, they have a 20% off or 15% off or 10% off, um, you can kind of grab this and, and save a couple bucks, you know. Um, but that being said, these boxes... You can't really wait on guys unless you wait to probably next Christmas because these are going to go back to full price. This ain't staying at 40 bucks. Uh, that medium box for $59, that ain't staying there either. Um, so the low profile stuff, you kind of got time. Um, but these boxes, if you're interested, man, you better uh, act uh, quick there, Charlie. But we'll talk about this some more when we talk about the other low profile case um again patreons i saw shaka on here tonight we're gonna do that um we had to wait for a couple people to, to sign up my man ruben um uh got on around 10 last night i thought it was a little too late so we're gonna rock it tonight we're still waiting for ebony but we might have another giveaway tomorrow night people so we'll see about that but Milwaukee. Low profile organizer. Check them out. Acme Tools Depot, twenty nine bucks. Again, this system right here, out the door, seventy bucks. All right. Peace.